Next, detailed steps of the two debugging methods will be given. Debugging through the mainboard buttons. Step 1. Completely cover the front panel of outdoor unit and open debugging windows of all basic modules. Step 2. In power of status, set the outdoor unit to a corresponding static pressure mode according to the static pressure design requirement for outdoor unit. For more details about the setting method, please read the installation, debugging and maintenance manual. If there are no static pressure requirements, keep the factory settings. Step 3. In power of status, set one outdoor unit as master unit by keeping its SA8 flip switch in double zero factory setting status. Set other modules as slave module by setting SA8 deep switch to 1 0. Step 4. If centralized control is required, set the centralized control address SA2 in power of status of outdoor unit. Retain the master module address setting of 1 16 in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 status. The centralized control addresses SA2 of other systems master modules cannot repeat. Note, you could retain default settings for slave modules and it is not needed to set the slave module SA2 deep switches of all systems. If centralized control is not required, you could keep default settings and it is not needed to set this deep switch. Step 5. Power on all outdoor units and indoor units. If LED3 display A0 on the main board of all outdoor units, it indicates that the unit is on the non-debugging status. Step 6. Find the master unit with its address 01. On the master unit, press confirm button for 5 seconds to begin debugging.